my face. I'm taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. I actually did pick up um, 06 Sand Beige and it is a foundation that I am wearing right here. And as you can see, I feel like it matches my skin tone a little bit better. Um, what do you guys think? I did actually end up keeping 07 Sand because, I mean, summer is going to be here pretty fast. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to be tan. And I figured that I would just keep it in case, you know, I get tan. So, yeah, this is the foundation that I'm wearing. You guys know how I feel about it. If you haven't seen my review on this foundation, I will have it linked down below. But I love it, guys. I still love it so much. Um, I've actually been wearing it every day since I reviewed this product for you. I just love the way it sits on my skin. So I'm taking the Better Skin um, Concealer by Maybelline, and I'm applying that on my eyes underneath my eyes um, this one's really really light but I like it because I use it as a highlight and I take that to my chin I also take a little bit to my forehead and then a little bit down the bridge of my nose the reason why I kind of go crazy with it is because I want to balance everything out and then I go back with my damp beauty blender and I make sure that I just you know blend everything together and I just really like using a beauty blender for my concealer because I feel like it removes excess product at the same time and it just blends everything super super nicely so use whatever you have so After that, I'm going to set my makeup with the NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Powder. You guys know how I feel about this powder. I love it. I do prefer it over the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I feel like this one is a little bit more finely milled and it doesn't have a scent to it. So I really, really like it. I'm be using it nonstop as well. And again, I just take it to the places where I concealed. And then after I've set it for about five minutes. I go in with a brush and I just remove all the excess product. This is actually an e.l.f. blush brush and I just use it to remove all powders. I'm going to take the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. I actually recently picked this up because I've heard so many people talking about it and I really do like it. I use the sponge with whatever I have left over from that powder and I just make sure that I set my paint pot just so I don't get any creases or anything like that. I'm going to take this new Wet n Wild palette and I'm going to take this maroon color. <gasps> Guys, these palettes are insanely pigmented. I was so blown away by the pigmentation. I just picked this up over the weekend and this was actually the first time I was trying them and they are so good. I got mine at my local Walmart and I really like them. There's actually two and I will show the second one in a little. But this one has more plummy pinky colors. They are so pigmented. Again, I was so blown away. Then I'm going to take this more taupey. It's still in the pur purple family but it has a little bit more taupey. Can I speak? Taupey undertones. <laughs> and I'm just going to take that on a flat brush so I can blend everything. This brush, I actually got it in my BoxyCharm box last month. Sorry, I think I'm getting a little bit sick, so if I sound a little nasally, that's why. But um, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to make sure that I blend everything together. And like I said, these, these shadows are so pigmented. I was so blown away and they're only like five bucks. So I was like, oh, I need them. I need them in my life. <laughs> I'm going to take the white shade on that palette and I'm going to apply that to my brow bone. As you can see, super pigmented a little bit goes such a long way. They do have a little bit of fallout, but I feel it's because they're so pigmented. Then I am going to blend everything out to make sure that I don't have any hard lines between my brow bone and that. I do wish I would have brought this a little bit lower, but... It is what it is and then obviously you want to repeat the same step on the second eye and again I wish I would have gone a little bit lower with my crease um, as far as the wing it goes because I just feel like it was too close to my brow bone so lesson learned
Then I do go back with a little bit of that paint pod that I have or whatever is left on there. And I just go back and clean up that crease line just so I can make it a little bit more sharp. I don't go crazy with it just because, I don't know, I just feel like it looks nice. A little bit clean, but not, you know, super crisp. But it's totally up to, up. I swear I cannot speak to that. <laughs> It's totally up to you guys how you want your crease to look. I think it looked pretty nice at the end. I'm going to take this sparkly pink color and I'm going to apply that all over the lid. Again, since we're going for a Valentine's Day look, I kind of wanted to go super glamorous and all out. So I did apply that um, all over my lid and I did not wet in my brush and I think these types of eyeshadows will look really nice wet because they would be a lot more pigmented. From the second palette, I'm going to take this, it's more like a rose gold type of color, but I wanted to add a little bit more shine, more sheen to the lid. So I did wet that one and I applied it on top. And then I did go in with my NYC black eyeliner and I just drew my wing. As you guys can see here, I just kind of was trying to match it with that top wing just so it can look nice and even um so yeah i just did that and sorry i'm out of focus for a little bit but i think i was too close to the camera and it was just i wasn't focusing on anything i'm gonna take these lashes right here and these are from ebay i will have a link down below this is the covergirl true blend bronzer and so going back, I wish I would have chosen a different color to begin with because it is a really nice bronzer, but it doesn't have much color to it. It's more um, it's more of a, almost like a highlight bronzer. It's really pretty, but again, it's not, it's not too pigmented. So I did try to go in with that and it just really wasn't working for me. So I did go in with a second product here in a second and I just add a little bit more warmth to my face. So I'm going to take this um, Rimmel London, it's like a highlight bronzer and a blush palette and I'm going to take that bronzing color and just bronze up my face. So this gave me a little bit more color and again it wasn't really working. It was the first time that I had tried it and it's okay. I like the blush but the bronzer is a little bit weird. It has a weird type of consistency to it. Let me know if you guys have tried it. For highlight I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Hollywood Boulevard highlight. You guys know I love this highlight. Um, I actually mentioned that in my highlight collection. If you guys haven't seen that, again, it will be listed down below. But I love this highlight. It's so pigmented and a little bit goes such a long way. But you guys know that I like, you know, that extra glow. So I do apply that to my nose as well. And then I take it to my cupid's bow and to my chin. And I do apply a little bit on top of my brows. Again, just to balance out the face. You guys don't have to do these specific steps. But for me, it's kind of a must. For lips, I'm going to take this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream, and that is in the color, let me see, that is in the color Precious, and this will be the first lip option, a very girly, pinky color, um, I personally don't like pinks on me, but if you guys do, then go for it, I think it looks really pretty, super romantic but very glamorous at the same time because we have that cut crease going on. So that is the first option and I hope you guys like it. The second option is going to be um, a lipstick from ColourPop. I will have the name down below. So that is the end of this look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.